Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous video, we figured out how to express the x unit vector in terms of r theta and phi, the coordinates in spherical coordinates. Now let's try to find the y unit vector in terms of r theta and phi. Again, we're going to start with the same three definitions, the r unit vector, the theta unit vector, and the phi unit vector. And the approach initially is the same, but at the end, instead of eliminating the y unit vector, we have to eliminate the x unit vector to isolate the y unit vector. And on our first step, we're going to eliminate the z unit vector. The way we can do that is we're going to multiply the first equation by the sine of theta and the second equation by the cosine of theta so that they look exactly the same, except the sines will be opposite. Then we add the two equations together and the z unit vector will be gone. So the idea is, then we're going to multiply the top by the sine of theta and multiply the bottom equation by the cosine of theta. Of course, we have to do the same to both sides of the equation. We do that to eliminate the z unit vector. Let's see what we end up with. So here we end up with the sine of theta times the r unit vector is equal to the sine square of theta cosine of phi times the x unit vector plus the sine square of theta times the sine of phi times the y unit vector plus the sine of theta cosine of theta z unit vector. And then we do the same for the second equation, the cosine of theta theta unit vector is equal to the cosine square of theta. And now notice we have the sine square of theta times the, and the cosine square of theta. And we have the, uh, let's see here, then the cosine of phi, which is the same right there, x unit vector, plus here we have the cosine square of theta sine of phi, y unit vector, and then we have the minus sine of theta cosine of theta z unit vector. And now we'll go ahead and add those two equations together. So notice on the left side, we end up with the sine of theta, r unit vector plus the cosine of theta theta unit vector equals. When we add these two together we can factor out a cosine of phi and then we end up with the cosine of phi times the sine square theta plus the cosine square square theta which is one so we end up with simply the cosine of phi x unit vector. Here's the same thing when we add these two together we can factor out a sine of phi we end up with the sine square theta plus the cosine square theta or simply one times the sine of phi y unit vector and notice that here the z unit vector simply cancels out. Then we employ the definition of the phi unit vector. So we write the phi unit vector is equal to minus the sine of phi x unit vector plus the cosine of phi y unit vector. So now that we have those two equations, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to eliminate the x unit vector and keep the y unit vector. So if I multiply the top equation by the sine of phi and the bottom equation by the cosine of phi, then I have the exact same thing here, but one is positive, one is negative. So when I add them together, the x unit vector will drop out. And I end up with the sine square and the cosine square of phi here. So when I add those two together, that will become a 1. So I think I'm on the right track when I do the following. Okay, so the top equation we're going to multiply times the sine of phi. And the bottom equation we're going to multiply times the cosine of phi. So next we'll multiply it out. We'll get, that, we'll get the sine of theta sine of phi r unit vector. Plus, here we get the cosine of theta sine of phi theta unit vector equals on the right side we get the sine of phi cosine of phi sine of phi cosine of phi x unit vector plus sine of phi times sine of phi which is sine squared of phi sine squared of phi y unit vector now for the bottom equation here we end up with the cosine of phi phi unit vector equals, and here we have the cosine times the sine that becomes a minus sine of phi cosine of phi x unit vector. 
and the cosine times the cosine gives me plus the cosine square of phi y unit vector. Remember, we're trying to keep the y unit vector and get rid of the x unit vector. So in this case, when we add the two equations together, then the x unit vector will drop out and we get sine squared plus the cosine squared times the y unit vector with simply one times the y unit vector. On the left side, when we end up with the sine of theta, sine of phi r unit vector, plus the cosine of theta, sine of phi theta unit vector, plus the cosine of phi phi unit vector equals the x unit vector drops out, and we simply end up with the y unit vector on that side. And this will then be, by definition, the y unit vector expressed in terms of r, theta, and phi. And that is how it's done.